What's up, everybody? Hopefully, my title's right today. Last time, it was something about Rocket League. <laughs> that wasn't correct. It is right. Okay. Good stuff. Good morning, good afternoon, and evening, and the rest of them. I'm just going to play with some letters today. What is happening? Hmm. Hi, twins. I'm doing well today. I just... I want to play with some new letters today. I haven't been happy with some of my letters. And I'm just going to kind of sketch some stuff. No big plans or anything. Florida, that's where I want to be right now. It's cold, it's warm there. Draw a penguin. I told Doke to draw a penguin today. I don't know if I can draw a penguin just like from memory. Let's try. I'll draw a little cartoon guy. I want to get those little flappy arms. He has no definition in his head at all. I watched Doke. I watched him today. Today was the first time I saw him go live. And he was just doodling and playing around. And uh it was it was cool. I'd rather see him paint letters than what he did paint, but it was it was cool watching someone else do art live. I haven't really seen that other than um Mary draws, Mary doodles. I don't know what her name is, I follow her. Watched him for years. That's a good looking penguin. I think he's okay. I give him I give him three stars. Three stars out of five stars. Boink. Whoa. Could I use a cheap airbrush compressor? Absolutely. You could use any kind of airbrush compressor you can find. Um, you need to spray it like 30 to 40 PSI at least. I don't know what I'm writing, I'm just writing letters. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really... Compressor really doesn't matter a whole lot. I have a link in the description to a good airbrush kit if you want to get started airbrushing. Um, compressor is probably the least of your concerns.
name the penguin. He's clearly a gym. Penguin gym. My son always wants me to draw a snowman for some reason. Scarf. Boop, boop, boink. That's a two star penguin. Can you show me a cool looking D, please? Yes. Let's do this again. How about a beach shore with palm scene? I can do that. How about I do? This D first, because I read it first. I don't know if that's cool. Are you saying rats just got into your paint? Wow. That's, I've never seen that before. I've seen rats eat shirts. I've seen rats eat boxes all day. I've never seen them eat bottles of paints. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's terrible. <laughs> That's horrible. They drink your paint, man. That's... <laughs> oh, man. That's not what you want to hear. That reminds me of the time that I had a box of customer shirts in the garage. And it flooded in my garage. And that box just soaked up all of these customers' personal shirts. All the water was just... They were completely... No, they were drenched. And it was like muddy water. I don't know. It was gross. It worked out though. I just washed them and painted them and they were good. Somebody set up a GoFundMe for easy airbrush to get some new paint. <laughs> Let me do that beach scene. In a second here. Where did you buy your airbrush? I've got my airbrushes from a lot of different places over the years. Sorry. Uh, where I go now is Spray Gunner. There's a link in the description to them. They've got everything that I need. Ugh. All the paint and stuff. And they also have markers and like the Molotov markers and whatnot. Uh, they're a good single one-stop shop place to go and they have this really great off-brand brand I don't want to call it off-brand because it makes you think like less quality but this no-name airbrush that I'm talking about all the time is their off-brand airbrush that performs just like the other airbrushes I use and it's just really nice I came across them recently and I haven't needed to go anywhere else since I've ordered from them so it's a good place. You got over COVID too. Easy airbrush. You can take a nap, man. Sit down and take a rest. Um, beach scene starts with pink. I start with pink at least. Right. I'm 
I'm gonna start with the clouds. posted a video guys I made one I painted that guy technically my first graffiti wall ever how much was my airbrush most of my airbrushes were about 80 bucks each that's the Omni 3000s and the no name airbrush they're about the same this yellow with the pink and it makes this nice orange color in the middle. And some purple in the clouds. How can I make the colors pop on orange fabric? Orange is one of the hardest colors to paint on for some reason. Um, all I can say is layers and layers of white. Do when you're when you're layering colors on top of darker fabrics, you need to do light layers of paint. Uh, don't oversaturate it. You want to do layer, like very light layers. Let it dry in between and build up a base layer of white first, and then put your colors on top of that. Still working in very light layers. Um, if you oversaturate your shirt, then that paint starts to, to soak into the shirt and it's a really weird surface to paint on. And it, it'll, it does not set you up for success for the rest of that item. Really when you're painting on anything, you don't want to drip or splatter your paint. You want to make sure you're painting slowly enough that things are drying and not splattering away. This newsprint is uh, hard to paint on because it doesn't absorb paint. So I can see that some of my work is like splattering away. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I've essentially oversaturated this paper. It's much easier to paint on a t-shirt than this. It's been a while since I painted a beach scene. This is kind of bad. get used to it again can you make a winter wonderland it's a winter wonderland outside right now all my trees are covered in ice it's kind of cool looking luckily we didn't lose power it seems like everybody else did but we got lucky I'm just gonna do a palm tree and call it done. Then I wanna paint some letters. Somebody give me a name to paint. A short name, not like a super long one.
Yeah, this tree is bad. It's hard to paint on this paper. Some little birdies. J, Sam, Tigger, Tropic. Tropic's going right here. Okay. Pow. Um, Teresa. I need something longer than three letters. Fine. I'm not being picky. I'll just paint whatever. Princess. I have a new fan from Cancun, Mexico. Put that put that one on the list. That's awesome. All right. Angel, it is. Here it is. Um, big old bubbly letters is what's gonna happen. I can see him. Can you see him? Barely see it. Yeah, the white is super hard to see. I'll throw some other colors in there in a second. I'm kind of sketching out my first lines. This was not a practical color choice. How much cost is a airbrush compressor? Um, I would say around a hundred bucks. It really depends on what you're getting, but you can get a good one for around a hundred dollars. That'll be perfectly fine for you.
um, um, I have the electric airbrush. I've never tried the electric airbrush. Is that for the same airbrush? Yes, the link in the description is for this airbrush that you see me use all the time. The rest of them are Omnis. This is the only one of that I have, but I use it just like the rest of them. Um, the next airbrush that I buy will be another one of these. I just, I have way more than I need, so I'm not buying more of those. At the moment. Uh, their compressors are coming back in stock soon. Right now they're out of their compressors. They sent me one of them. They're over there. I gotta review it. I gotta open it up and see what it's all about. But So if you wait like a week, you should have access to the kit I used and the compressor from them at the same place. All in one kit, which might be better. Seems like every time they get more, though, they fly off the shelves, which is a good sign. Dylan, what's up? How long have I been painting? I've been painting for about 12 years or so or something. You know I always forget. That's because I don't remember when I actually started. And I'm too lazy to do the research to, to figure it out. Do I tag walls? Does this answer your question? <laughs> no, I've never done any walls. I need to find a spot, a legal spot. Come on, airbrush. Alright guys, what am I what am I painting next? Next thing I do is probably gonna be on one of those pieces of paper that can I can work better on. Can I do a rose? A rose, a rose, a rose. I'll do a rose. Dale, did I disable my online store? I did, uh, for the moment. I'm working on it. I'm trying to build it. Um, but I've been so distracted with all of you guys' stuff. There it is. I'm painting that rose. I am working on that store. I'll have it back working soon. Um, I've been picky about categorizing the designs. In the past, I've limited all the designs because I don't want to paint everything in the world. I only want to paint the stuff that's like the style I want to work with. 
uh, but now that I've got some other artists that'll be working with me I can open that back up a little bit to all of the airbrush styles um, so now I'm trying to be smart about where I put the designs it's been confusing in the past because there's always so many designs and there wasn't like a cohesive category system and stuff but now there will be brown we're gonna start with brown Lalo says what's this this is me painting some stuff it's Fernando no all right let's try it let's do the thing They told you in school that drawing from a still life is like 80% looking or something and 20% drawing. I kind of disagree. Looking is important, but you need to understand what you're looking at. So I'd say it's like 50% looking, 50% thinking about it, and then like 96% drawing. And you end up with a lot more than 100%, which is fine. Because we're not doing math, we're doing art. I realized that didn't make any sense. What I mean though is that now that I've started looking at this, I'm not going to look at that anymore. Most likely. Like now I'm, I'm, I've understood the shapes and now I'm building my own. I am looking at a rose. I threw out an image up here. It's not really that frustrating to take off the paint. Uh, you're talking about the tip dry. It's just, it's second nature to me. I do it anytime I stop painting and I'm thinking for a second, I naturally just go down and do that. And it's never something I worry about anymore. I get a lot of comments and tips about things I can use to remove tip dry. A little cigarette filter is one and you just poke it but I don't I don't need all that I don't know it's really easy to just do it
Hmm. You got the new iPad and pencil. Playing with Procre Procreate is an awesome tool. Um, I probably do on Procreate every other. I should be using it every day, but. Once you get used to the brushes and stuff, and you can kind of translate and get to where you can make your art naturally on that digital format, it's really awesome. Um, the first dozen times or so that I used Procreate, I was just spending most of my time playing with brushes and like struggling to be efficient with it and whatnot. But once I got all that down, uh, now I'm pretty fast and it's cool. The old stoner, thank you for joining the channel, man. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I'm thinking that soon I'm gonna um, start doing occasionally some live streams that are open to, they're open to everybody's public, but only members can comment. And that'll help me focus more on what I'm doing um, and respond to the important questions. Most of my stuff will be open to everybody to comment, but sometimes I'll do one. Which just members can chat. That seems to be what everybody else does anyway. You see a face in the rose. Let's see if I can find it. Once I add some white highlights to this, it'll start to look a little better. All right, now I'm gonna ignore that, and I'm going to just work on my own rendering of shadows and lighting and stuff. I'm not gonna draw a stem, but I wanna put one here. Check out my PJs. They're my winter PJs. Well, I certainly appreciate it, man. Are you joining the channel? is way too opaque for the situation. I want to do some live streams um, from Procreate. I've done one before, but I can do a better one where you're not getting a camera watching the tablet, you're getting a live stream on the tablet, and then have 
the whole tool, dual camera setup and everything still too. That's what Doke was doing today when I was watching him earlier. It wasn't Procreate, but it was digital sketching. And I agree about uh, joining channels here on YouTube. There's a couple channels I follow. I join, support. Um, it really is just like Patreon, but it's built right into YouTube. And I'd really have everything integrated than a bunch of separate accounts. Patreon's great too. I just I'm all about putting it all together in one platform. Something's weird here. I gotta fix. Ouch, man! I poke myself with these airbrushes way more during streams than it, when I'm not streaming. I think it's just a coincidence. Alright. Let me do red. I don't have a burgundy out right now. I would use that. Are you a full-time artist? I am, technically. Um, when I'm not, I mean, sometimes when I am streaming, I paint t-shirts. I do, I do airbrush t-shirts for a living. And uh, I'm trying to get into doing more live streaming and stuff and make a living off of that. But that's a, that's a long road. So right now I'm continuing to paint t-shirts and when I can, I'll stream and grow this platform naturally, and hopefully one day I'll be able to just make videos instead of paint shirts. I'll still paint shirts, but I'll, I'll paint what I want to paint instead of what I'm commissioned to paint. You know what I mean? Native. Do you ever do wicked skulls? I don't really paint skulls. Everyone wants to paint skulls on bikes. And I'm just not. Not about it. <laughs> yeah, this sub count has uh, continued to skyrocket here on YouTube. It seems like a weird demographic, though, or something. Because, again, I keep mentioning this. My sub count's high. I got 166,000 people. But, I released a video and I get no attention on that video. Um, I did one yesterday and it's got like 800 views or something. This is strange. Like, I have a bunch of subs, why aren't they watching my content? Kinda weird. I hope these colors look good on the video.
All right, moving on. What's what am I painting next? Thank you guys. I'm glad you like the flower, the rose. Yeah, that's what I mean. Only 38 people watching with 166,000 subscribers. Where's everybody at? I don't know. I'm clearly doing something wrong. SpongeBob? Absolutely not. Boink. Boink. Then I'll ruin it with some lame airbrush background. A tree next? I can do a tree. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do a tree. Nah. Can you draw something while we guess it? Yeah, I'm gonna draw a tree and you can guess what it is. Maybe I can put some words in the tree. That should have been a secret. That should have been the secret thing. Um, this is an experiment. You'll see. Are you inspired by Bob Ross? Everybody's inspired by Bob Ross. I may or may not have a Bob Ross wig in the other room. And the answer is I, I may, I do, in fact.
This song was kind of trippy, huh? <laughs> um, no, I'm not high. No, I don't need a mask. Uh, this is water-based paint. It's really um, pretty safe for you. And I have ventilation, so it's sucking up this paint without getting into my lungs. Not a big deal. I've been doing this long enough that if paint fumes were gonna kill me, they probably would have already done it. What time is it? It's three o'clock in the afternoon for me. Good old 1500 hours. How do you think what color is better? I don't know. All the colors kind of act differently. They interact with each other and they layer differently. Um, aside from just what color they are, they have different opacities. Um, really kind of got to know your paint because you always think like blue and yellow make green. But if I use the yellow on top of blue is gonna act way different than blue on top of yellow and you know um, depending on the surface and the saturation of paint everything changes so I kind of need to know what I don't know it's not really answer your question how do I know which paint is better but I know what paints will work I don't know I, I stick to pretty similar color schemes all the time you'll see a lot of my work has the same couple colors in it and that's not just because of my favorite colors uh, because I'm really familiar with those paints and I know how they're gonna act on top of each other In most graffiti art all your paint is Opaque, um, but in airbrush art your your paint is transparent mostly you see I put this green right on top of all this brown It didn't cover up the brown. It just tinted it um, and they tint things in different ways so It's more like using markers if you've used like Copic markers or something like that where you gotta build up colors. Thank you, Mark Fun Jones. I appreciate it. Uh, no, I don't play mobile Call of Duty because I am not a elementary school child. I play video games on my big boy computer, like an adult. That was rude, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult anybody that plays Call of Duty Mobile. Thank you for hitting that bell icon. That's a good thing to do. A lot of people that subscribe and want to see these live videos complain that I didn't know you were live and I never got the notification and whatnot. And the reason is because you didn't subscribe and turn on those notifications. So if you do want to be notified every time I post, not just when YouTube thinks that you're really interested in my post, uh, you hit that bell icon and it'll tell you every time I post something.
done with that. It worked out. Um, if I had more time, I would put more details on the leaves and make a bunch of little leaves everywhere, but I'm not going to do that right now. You spend way too much time playing games. I do too, honestly. I probably play games for two hours a night at least, two or three. Um, once I put my boy down for bed, it's, that's when I get my free time. And it's like, alright, I get to play video games now. And it's hard to go to bed sometimes. I think we all spend too much time playing video games. Am I done here? I'll, I'll paint one more thing. Somebody tell me something to paint. And I'm gonna get some lunch. Paint a robot. I've never painted a robot. Let us get car. I don't want to paint a car. These are great suggestions. Galaxies are fun. Pizza slice. I'll do a pizza slice. I want to use this, really what I want to use is this brown base and give me something to like sketch out. Kind of like the tree and the rose. I was able to put the, the brown down first and do some shading and then highlights and then color. And that's not something I get to do usually. So I'm going to do that. Pizza slice is a good thing to do for that. I was about to go real boring and put a pizza slice straight like that. And instead, I'm gonna... Give it some perspective. can't just have a flat circular pepperoni you know every time you cut a piece of pizza right on the pepperoni it like curls up we would be living in an unrealistic world if we expected our pepperonis to stay in place are for perspective and shape. Remember which way the texture is going. Death cream? What? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Make the cheese drip. Do you think I was going to paint a piece of pizza without dripping cheese? Do you even know me?
All right, I need another topping. Mushrooms are a good topping. Dylan's not toxic, he's just being a weirdo. Um, black olive, for sure. Look at that line, wait. Um, what else? A sausage, a little lump of sausage. going for a stuffed crust for sure Dylan knows all about toxic. He plays with our good friend Zach. And if you ever play a game of Rocket League with Zach, that would change your definition of toxic. He celebrates just as hard though, so it's cool. <laughs> it's fine, Dylan. He's a passionate dude. All right, I need I need another topping here, or just some some texture is probably fine. I'm going no plate pizza is floating in space. Maybe we'll have a I came up with a surprise idea for the end here. All right. Just some generic brown texture for the cheese to sit on top of and some crust coloring. Step 1 is always like composition and uh, values lights and darks in this case I'm going to use this yellow because this yellow is a lot more opaque than the rest of my colors and certainly more than that one and it's gonna sit on top of this brown and give it more of a yellow color than a brown color. I 
and I'm gonna end up doing a layer of white on top of it and then back to the yellow. For highlights. I appreciate it, Air Todd. Oh, there's some things though that if you asked me to draw, they would definitely suck. Um, any kind of character. My penguin was pretty bad. I, I don't have a library of that kind of stuff in my head. If you ask me to draw a penguin again, I just... Like, that's the best I could have done if you remember it from the beginning. If you were here. That's all I got. That's the extent of my penguin library. As we all know, um, stuffed crust doesn't have the same cheese in the crust as it does on the, the Dagon side of the pizza. It's always a white cheese. Here is where I'm going to throw some white highlights down. Again, with these transparent colors, I can put these white highlights on there and then fill it in with color, and those highlights will stand out through the next color. So I can do my shading before I put a base coat on, which is kind of cool. I see our chat has entered Spanish mode.
that gray came out strong. That's a gross looking pepperoni. I mean, mushroom. I need to learn Spanish. I took French in high school. It's done me no good. Shout out to my teacher, Miss Lewis. She was a great French teacher. I just haven't used the language. Alright, good enough for that. I'm gonna do something on the background. How long did it take me to get the control down? It took me probably two years. I don't know how to, how to explain this. I'm still developing control. Um, takes, takes 10 or 15 hours probably to really start being able to put lines exactly where you want to put them. But the smoothness of your whole lines and whatnot, that's just something you're going to continue to always grow. The first thing you learn is like how to put dots down and to control the air without letting go of the trigger. You know, and just just this sort of thing right here is really hard to do in the beginning. Especially like making a line and starting it and stopping it exactly where you want to. This is, I've been airbrushing for a couple of weeks, you know, to, just to do this. Especially like in a bigger line. This is not is not easy to do, um, but what's harder to do really is controlling big movements exactly where you want to be and starting and stopping a line or following and tracing like that. I don't know. Um, it does have a good learning curve to it. It's kind of like learning an instrument rather than just learning how to draw. You really have to learn how to use this thing, and it can be kind of tricky. Like to do what I'm doing right now and put this hard blue outline right next to the yellow without worrying about it is a one of the more difficult things I've done on this stream. Let's just like that. To do this.
I will do a video about handle the, how to handle the airbrush. That's a good idea. I'm gonna start doing all those very soon. I've said that for a long time, but it's still true. I'm gonna do it soon. Yep, Dylan's got it right. All this control comes from your whole body. I do more work with my hips and shoulders than I do with my wrists. Have you guys played Valheim? Valheim? Valheim. Probably not Valheim. Everyone's talking about it on the ticker to talkers. That's pretty cool. There was a question. I forgot the question. I don't see the question. Did I have a teacher like myself? That's what the question was. Um, I had a teacher that taught me how to airbrush. They gave me that fundamental basics that I was talking about here. Um, kind of got a lot of control tips and artwork tips and some lettering tips and stuff in my first two years. Um, but since then, the last decade or so, it's just been me all by my lonesome practicing and watching videos and that kind of thing. This isn't really looking like what I wanted to look like, to be honest with you. See, you gotta go, thank you. Hades, I never played, never heard of Hades. It's supposed to be a galaxy. I just, uh. Usually when I paint a galaxy, I start on a black surface. So everything is done in white and then layers of color are added onto it. And going about it this way, it's kind of backwards. And I made mistakes, I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> this isn't working. My colors are acting funny too on this white. It's the pizza from Spaceballs. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess, yeah. It's good enough. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on a failed piece of art. Galaxy pizza. There it is. Blink, 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 blink. Alright guys, this was fun. I got a Twitch viewer and two spa Facebook viewers. Look at me go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the stars saved the galaxy. I needed to, I wanted to leave the stars to the end so you guys could guess, but the other elements were not measuring up to uh, up the bar. That's all right. We got a pizza. And we got a tree with my name. And we have a rose. And they were all real fun to paint. And I appreciate you guys. It's really, it's you guys. You guys right there. That's who I do this for. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys next time. Probably, probably next week. Unless something happens this weekend and I have a bunch of free time, which is very unlikely. Then I will see you next week when I paint some orders. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. And goodbye. <laughs>